there is something rather special about building your own PC from scratch. Not only is it a bit of a personal achievement, custom PC builds are a reflection of your style, character and effort. Hey, my name is Andrew, I'm a digital marketer and business owner and I'm looking to add a custom PC to complement my current Mac setup. The goal here is to set up the desk space so I'm able to conveniently switch between the Mac and Windows ecosystem on the same monitor without changing anything around. So Windows or Mac, por que no los dos. This way I'm able to use my Mac to run my more traditional side of the business, you know, things like emails, digital marketing and admin work, while using Windows to power the more creative workflow for content creation and this YouTube channel. I'm also planning for this PC to have enough juice for ultra wide gaming during the nights I'd like to unwind. So for these reasons, I've decided to build a custom PC from scratch. The last time I built a PC was a lifetime ago. I was 13 to be exact, and it was daunting, complex, expensive, and yet incredibly rewarding. So over the last few weeks, I've been collecting all the components and sharing them on Instagram. So feel free to follow me at Andrew Ethan Zhang to follow the journey. And I'm excited to now finally build this PC. The best part of this video is not me building the PC. I've teamed up with Team Group who have launched a competition for you to potentially win a custom PC build and other goodies to upgrade your creative space. I'll leave a link in the description to learn more about the event and I'll share more details on this big giveaway at the end of the video. The build ethos for this PC is to achieve the balance between power, practicality and minimalistic design while the color theme is simply a clean jet black aesthetic. The placement of the PC within the home office is quite important too. I'm looking to minimize clutter given the small space that I'm working with and be able to seamlessly switch between my Mac and PC without the cable clutter. For this reason, I'm going with a compact mid-tower case build so it neatly tucks under my sit-stand desk and the desk itself is spacious enough that I keep focused on what's most important and avoid clutter and distractions. Designing a PC from scratch allows me to find the exact sweet spot in my own unique needs and buying each PC component to suit. Thankfully, I've managed to get my hands on the components that I need, but as we know, certain components right now are riding a roller coaster of prices with certain graphic cards commanding prices sort of akin to a kidney and a half. So let's go over each component I've handpicked and the installation process from start to finish. Starting with the main man here, or should I say the main lady, the motherboard. I picked out a slightly different board here, an ASUS ProArt B550 Creator. I picked this particular board because it's aggressively priced at about $300 and provides a host of ports, including two unique integrated M.2 latches and two Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports, which is an unusual appearance for motherboards at this price point. It also features a very minimal black appearance accented by patina tones which fits with my build theme or really almost any build theme. Next up is the heart of the build, the CPU. I've opted for an AMD build here and picked out the Ryzen 7 5800X. The 5800X represents one of the most meaningful leaps in gaming CPU performances in years. The redesigned AMD Zen 3 architecture features a doubling of cores per complex from 4 to 8 cores. It is about a year old at this point, but it still represents terrific high-end performance given its $500 price tag, and I find it a great pick for those who need to handle serious workloads and games but don't need to go all out on the 5950X for example. Installing the CPU is always a nerve-wracking experience for me personally because the very first PC build that I've built, you know, back when I was 13, I almost bent the CPU pins and overheated it because, don't judge me, uh, I forgot to apply thermal paste. Look, I was 13, so please cut me some slack. For the CPU cooler, I am adding the absolutely gigantic German built Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. They're known to be rock solid in their ability to do one thing and one thing only cool down the CPU, a pretty important job. Yes, the general look of this cooler is boring, there's no flashy curves or RGB lighting here, but the build quality is second to none with brushed aluminium and complements 
the minimal black theme I'm going for here. Now comes the elephant in the room, the graphics card. I'll not only be using this PC build for, you know, high-end 4K gaming, but also for creative work such as rendering 3D CAD designs and also large 4K videos. So the graphics card isn't naturally a component that I can, you know, skimp on. So I went straight to one of the best here. The Beastly Asus Radeon RX 6900 XT Top Edition. It's the crown jewel in the Radeon lineup today and AMD's direct rival to Nvidia's RTX 3090. It's a highly capable 4K graphics card that tops 60 frames per second in most modern games and ray tracing capable and is also purpose built for creative professionals. The ASUS Tough Gaming Top Edition features an overclocked mode taking it to an insane 2390 MHz and is cooled by an ingenious axle fan design enhanced with more blades and a new rotation scheme. This thing is freaking huge with its triple fan design and it just fits into my compact mid tower case. You'll see what I mean later in this video. Just be wary that the Radeon 6900 does come with a kidney-like price tag and honestly for that reason it's hard to recommend to most people simply for diminishing returns as one of the most powerful cards out there. But for my personal needs I think the Asus 6900 XT is a perfect fit. Moving on to the memory and storage now, for memory I picked out two 8GB T-Force Vulcons that work wonders on ASUS motherboards with the ASUS BIOS Easy Mode screen making it really simple to enable XMP to avoid performance throttling. And talking about performance, these get the performance to price ratio just right at under $100 for the pack. They come in a clean aluminium frame and subtle branding without crazy RGB lights once again to match the minimal theme. The low profile form factor is also great for smaller case builds. So this specific set is optimized at a clock speed of 3200 MHz and at 16 gigabytes should be more than enough for the workflow that I'm using it for and for gaming of course. As for the main storage drive, we're going with the M.2 SSD, which is a small form factor solid state drive. That's kind of hard to say, say that real quick three times. Um, but yeah, they're basically extremely thin, high performance storage and far more space friendly than traditional SATA hard drives or even SAS SSDs. I've gone with the two terabyte Cardia A4400 in this case, and I've heard great things about this bad boy. This one delivers over 7,000 megabytes in throughput. That's enough to completely max out the capabilities of the PCIe 4 port on the ASUS ProArt motherboard. This means blazing fast boot times, faster data transfer, and faster load times in application and in gaming. And guys, just look at the signature heatsink. A beautifully slim profile graphene and copper that is both aesthetic and practical in its design. The balance that I always go for. Despite the performance, two terabytes is slightly too small for my needs. So I've added a two terabyte T-Force Vulcan, a more traditional SATA SSD drive. It's a killer option that looks amazing, performs even better, and while being friendly on the wallet. Now it is time to physically mount and contain all the actual components inside the computer. So for that, we need an ever important case. All the expensive components are only as good as what protects it. So in this case, see what I did there? I've selected the Define 7 compact case by Fractal Design. It's a premium, high quality mid tower case that gives us enough room to play with inside while still being small enough to fit into smaller spaces. Just as importantly, it looks damn good. The brushed aluminium front panel paired with the dark tempered side glass achieves a clean cut minimal aesthetic that I love. Because of the compact size it does lose out on the 5.25 inch bay, a fan hub and a dual layout interior and it's not exactly cheap in comparison to similar cases with the same functionality. But for those who are looking for a beautifully small yet powerful case this is the one. For the finishing touches, we have the almighty 1000 watt Be Quiet Pure Power FM to power this entire setup. This newly released 1000 watt model is designed to power high end setups up to 93% efficiency levels and is cooled by their large yet noise optimized 120mm fans. 
Not too much more to say about the power supply unit, except it's a powerhouse that's able to power this setup and then some. Of course, it's important to keep this beast properly cooled and to remove the waste heat produced by all the components. So I've installed a triple pack of Be Quiet light wings, which nicely balance noise and airflow across the entire RPM range with a maximum volume of only 20.6 decibels at max load. They also feature ARGB lighting on both the front and the rear of each fan and make for the perfect control over case ambience and lighting to truly put all the components on display through that glass panel of the beautiful Fractal Define 7 case. For now, the PC is sitting on the floor in my home office, which isn't ideal of course, but I'm looking to expand the office and hopefully have a split area where I'm able to both work and play and have a sort of work area for my Mac and also a gaming area for this PC build. The overall build was straightforward enough. There wasn't really any hiccups just because it's pretty minimal. So cable management was straightforward. But it's sort of funny just how big the Dark Rock Pro 4 is. It literally is the centerpiece of the build aside from the Radeon 6900 XT. So guys, that is my new high-end gaming and work PC that I'm pretty happy with. If you have any suggestions or parts you'd add to this setup yourself, please let me know down below because it's still a work in progress. And so I'm all ears when it comes to building this gaming rig and upgrading it and improving it. Um, the whole process has been an absolute blast and the best part of PC building is being able to create a machine from scratch that represents your own style and needs. It was also just really nostalgic and brought back memories and my passion for building PCs when I was just 13 and um, almost killing that PC, uh, that CPU at the time. <laughs> a huge, huge thank you to Team Group for not only helping source some of the parts and sponsoring this video, but also hosting the huge giveaway for our audience. And to enter, click on the link in the description box and share your own dream PC setup styling and how it fit into your own desk space. Remember the theme for this giveaway is build no limits. So feel free to get creative with your entry and share photos, video sketches, or even 3D modeling. We wanna see your design genius here. So good luck to those who enter this insane giveaway. I am pretty excited and genuinely curious to hear what your favorite PC components are and overall what your dream PC build looks like. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more PC related videos, please let me know down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Andrew Ethan Zhang for my tech journey, my PC build and subscribe right here on YouTube for more tech and business content. As always, thank you for watching.